Friday of the fourth week of Lent, 1st of April 2022. First reading. Reading from the Book of Wisdom. The godless say to themselves, with their misguided reasoning, A life is short and dreary, nor is there any relief when man's end comes, nor is anyone known who can give release from Hades. Let us lie in wait for the virtuous man, since he annoys us and opposes our way of life, reproaches us for our breaches of the law and accuses us of playing false to our upbringing. He claims to have knowledge of God and calls himself a son of the Lord. Before us he stands, a reproof to our way of thinking. The very sight of him weighs our spirits down. His way of life is not like any other men's. The path he treads are unfamiliar. In his opinion we are counterfeit. He holds aloof from our doings as though from filth. He proclaims the final end of the virtuous as happy and boast of having God for his father. Let us see if what he says is true. Let us observe what kind of end he himself will have. If the virtuous man is God's son, God will take his part and rescue him from the clutches of his enemies. Let us test him with cruelty and with torture, and thus explore this gentleness of his and put his endurance to the proof. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, since he will be looked after, we have his word for it. This is the way they reason, but they are misled. Their malice makes them blind. They do not know the hidden things of God. They have no hope that holiness will be rewarded. They can see no reward for blameless souls. Responsorial Psalm The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The just call and the Lord hears and rescue them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He will keep guard over all his bones. Not one of his bones shall be broken. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. Those who hide in him shall not be condemned. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Gospel acclamation. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Now, now, it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart, for I am all tenderness and compassion. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Gospel Reading from the book of John Jesus stayed in Galilee. He could not stay in Judea, because the Jews were out to kill him. As the Jewish feast of tabernacles drew near, after his brothers had left for the festival, he went up as well but quite privately, without drawing attention to himself. Meanwhile, some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Isn't this the man they want to kill? And here he is, speaking freely, and they have nothing to say to him. Can it be true the authorities have made up their minds that he is the Christ? Yet we all know where he comes from. But when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. Then, as Jesus taught in the temple, he cried out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I came from, yet I have not come of myself. No, there is one who sent me, and I really come from him, and you do not know him, but I know him because I have come from him, and it was he who sent me. They would have arrested him then, but because his time had not yet come, no one laid a hand on him. Gospel of the Lord.